Hey guys, Rob from clicksgeek.com and today's video I want to run through PPC bid management and how to essentially two things how to find out what to bid to begin with when you have a new campaign and once your campaign is running and has data how to optimize and manage those bids so you're not um, way overpaying or getting killed or not competing so there's a few different options here alright so the first thing I'm going to show you is how to actually find and set your um, initial PPC bids for your campaign this is there's a little bit of confusion around this um, that I've seen pretty much everywhere so if you go into an account in here we're in one of our client accounts so there's two different ways you can do this you can do this using the columns which you can see here we should be able to see here I guess I'm not to not save it <clears throat> we want to add in we're actually going to add in a column and just let Google tell us. I think it's under attributes. Give me one second here, guys, because I'm not quite remember. Attribution, maybe. No. Oh, we got to go to keywords. What am I doing? All right, first we got to go to keywords. I'm at the aggregate level. Go into keywords. Go into columns. Modify column. Attributes. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Estimated top page bid and estimated first position bid you don't really I would just you know what I would just not even bother with that this is the one you want to be because this all this means is your Google's gonna tell you what you should be bidding to be in the top one of the top four spots at the top of their search results page which any one of those spots you're gonna you're gonna be okay <clears throat> some better than others but that's a video for another time just in general rule of thumb if you're in one of those four spots you're gonna be okay if you're at the bottom you know five through ten spots you're, you're going to be in trouble because you're going to get a lot of impressions, but no one's going to see your ads or click on them because they're going to be at the bottom of the page. And it's just a very, very low chance that people scroll down and click those ads. So we want to look at this metric first. So add that column into your keywords. I don't know if it's going to populate yet because I just added it. Nope. So if it doesn't populate right away, sometimes it does. Sometimes it takes time for Google to gather that data. So there's another way. All right, so <clears throat> you want to keep this column regardless because it's going to tell you what Google thinks you should be bidding to get top position for all of your keywords in your campaign. So if you can't find it here, like how it's showing us here, we, we can't do it, we are going to go up into Tools and Settings, and we're going to go into Keyword Planner, and we're going to have to start going through our ad groups one at a time. So you, obviously your ad group theme in this campaign is Clients Junk Removal, so we got ad groups like um, junk removal, junk pickup, junk hauling. So each one of those ad groups, we're going to have to go in and find what our ad group bids are going to be for that. So we'll start with the first one, which is junk removal. So this is the theme. So this ad group for junk removals, they have all of our junk removal keywords in it. So Google's telling us top of the page bid high range, which is what you should be paying attention to. Or somewhere in between the two, honestly. Um, so if this is the low end for top of the page bid that Google saying, which is 377, and the high end is 1188, me personally, if I have a, a client who needs leads fast and they're on me about it, I, you know, you got to come out of the gate swinging. So I always just over, over bid for the top of the page and just see where that shakes out first. When I have some data, and you can always lower that. So if I'm if if Google's telling me junk removal keyword is 1188 and all my associated junk removal keywords are going to be most likely much lower than this because this is the initial theme keyword the main keyword I'm gonna set my ad group bid probably for I would say this one I would just go like a couple cents up I do like 1193 or something just to get a little bit over the top of what Google's telling me because keep in mind this is their I mean I don't take these numbers as gospel these can these can fluctuate and it might not be com you know completely accurate but I always want to take what their highest high end bid is and go a couple cents over that. Or, you know, if you want to play it safer, you're working with a much smaller budget, you can go lower. You can, so the, but the floor is 377 a click. Maybe go like, you know, 560 or, or 683 or something like that. And if you're asking yourself, why am I always doing these random like 83, 87, it's because Google's keywords go to the auction and they go by the penny. So the bit, the better that's the highest by a penny wins the auction. For that keyword your ads will be shown higher so you always want to do like an obscure um, 377 378 because people most people 90% of advertisers are doing their bids like 
if three is three dollars, three fifty, three twenty five, you know you see what I'm saying? Three thirty. They're doing things like that in multiples of tens or fives. So you always want to do like that obscure one, just trying to get a one upper on them. Like so it's, if this was three seventy seven, do like three eighty one. You know what I mean? So that's just a little tip there for when you're uh, bidding. But yeah, so this is how you're gonna find your ad group bids. You're just gonna come in here. It's really simple, guys. 11.88, okay, we're gonna do 11.93, so that's set. Now our jump removal ad group is gonna be set at initial bid of 11.93. So we go to our next ad group. Don't pick up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't pick up, okay, 3.46, 11.56, so pretty similar. So here, I'm gonna go a couple cents over this one. I'll do 11.63. All right, so I'll set my bids for that got ad group at 11.63, and all the sub jump junk pickup keywords like junk pickup near me. Oh, here we go. You can see here they're going to be much lower than the initial theme keyword. And um, so just keep in mind when you're the reason you're searching for the theme keyword for your ad group, which is the main theme, junk pickup. You always want to go to the high end of that because all of your other keywords in the ad group are most likely. 99 times out of 100 are going to fall underneath your highest bid, so you're going to have really good placement for all of your your keywords, your ads are going to show at the top, and you're going to get clicks, and you're going to get leads and calls quickly because you're going to be visible very quickly. All right, so that's really it on setting <clears throat> the initial um, initial keyword bids in a campaign. So next, we want to go into <coughs> excuse me, sorry guys. <clears throat> We want to get into the campaign again, which I keep going backwards. Okay. All right, here we go. So now in this campaign, we're running a auto bid strategy, which I believe is maximize clicks. So we're letting Google's algorithm do all the bidding for us. And basically what it's doing is just taking, so we ran our data, we ran manual CPC bid, like I'm sure, like I just showed you how to set up the initial account. We did that with this campaign for the first 30 days. So we gathered 30 days of data then we flip the switch over into maximize conversions and let Google do all the heavy lifting from here. Now, what that does is Google's basically bidding whatever they can, but they're only bidding on keywords that have proven to drive conversions at an acceptable cost per lead based on the data from the first 30 days. So we're letting them do all the bidding here. So there's not really much you can do with bid management when, uh, when it comes to like an auto bid strategy. But something, well, I should say, when it comes to a, a conversion-based auto bid strategy, you can't really do anything besides pause keywords. Like if you have keywords in here that are driving leads, like like junk hauling here, one lead for a hundred bucks is ridiculous because we ideally want to be around thirty dollars conversion, thirty to fifty for a conversion for this. So you can see here, like okay, we got one lead here for fifty-nine bucks, and then we had a bunch of clicks here that turned to nothing. <clears throat> so this is where your bid management comes into play where you'll just pause keywords that are not converting and <clears throat> try and trim the fat off of the ad group. That's because $59, I'll take that. So I wouldn't pause the whole ad group over one. You know, this keyword works. Why would I pause a whole ad group? Just because the ad group level is $100. I would just come into the ad group and start pausing stuff that's not converting. And obviously you need a bigger sample for that. So let's just do all time. And you can see here, it's, it's a good thing I didn't pause those. So that's why you should always go back at least 90 days to look at the data. Because if you look at that week, it, it looks like shit and says, hey, man, you should probably pause this keyword. It's not working. But if you go back through time and you look, in reality, well, this keyword sent me two leads for 30 bucks. This keyword sent me two leads for 30, 27 bucks, whatever. These are good keywords. Like, I'm not going to pause these. But one click is not enough data sample to pause a keyword. I usually do it off 10. So if this was nine or 10 clicks and no conversions, I'm pausing it immediately. And that's just something you can do when you're running an auto bid because you can't actually hinder the bids or adjust the bids. You got to just kind of work with what you got when it comes to pausing the dead weight keywords in the campaign. That's really all you can do. Now, if you're running a manual CPC campaign, you can actually go in to your ad groups and your keywords and actually change what you're bidding, which is what PPC bid, bid management is what that's all about. And all you're really going to do with that is the same thing I just showed you with pausing dead weight keywords. You're either going to go into the, each ad group and you're going to look through the data for at least 90 days. You're either going to pause keywords that are not converting, cutting the dead weight, or you have a keyword that's maybe it sent you two or three conversions, at, but the price per lead is really high, cost per cost per lead is really high for you. So you're, all you're going to do is lower your bids. That's how you manage your bids, all right? That's it. It's not rocket science, and don't let anyone tell you it is because it's really not. 
It's just, it's more or less just analyzing data you have. So what you're going to do is just go in, you're going to look at these keywords and be like, all right, well, this one's driving me lead. Two leads are too high, but it's driving me leads. And I want these leads. These are good keywords that the leads are coming from. So drop your bids down. Now you might be asking yourself, all right, well, how do I know how much to drop my bids down? Well, that depends on the individual situation with the keyword. So let's say, example, this keyword here, we got uh, 22 leads, $42 a lead. I'm happy with that, but let's go into the campaign. We can actually look at them. So let's just say, for example's sake, junk removal sent me seven leads at $52 a lead, but I'm like, hey man, I, you know, I gotta get this down to like 40 bucks. So how do I do that here? If you're manual bidding and you can adjust the bids. And what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna bid less. All right, so let's say what's our average cost per click for this keyword. Average cost per click is $12.74 for this keyword. So I'm, I'm, it's it's getting us leads at 52. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to take this bid down. I'm going to take it down not a lot because you could crush the keyword. You got to do this incrementally week over week, all right? So week one, we start the process of bid management and lowering these. I'm going to come in here. I'm going to drop this by probably $2. And then I'm going to let it run seven days and see how it does. Now, the key is to keep doing this week over week until you get the desired result without crushing the volume of leads that are coming from this keyword. So it's a really big balancing act. And that's just something to keep in mind when you're doing your PPC bid management. All right. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's not really, like I said, it's not rocket science. You're going to come into your campaign every week and you're going to look at the bids. And if keywords are driving, you know, leads that are too high, you're going to adjust the, the volume of the, uh, you're going to adjust the price that you're paying per click, or if you're running an auto bid, you're going to come in, you're going to just kind of analyze the data and cut the dead weight of keywords that are uh, are not performing, or there's just an unacceptable level for a lead. Like if you're getting one lead for $100 and your goal is 40 bucks, it's just cut it loose, live the fight another day, put that money towards the ad groups that are actually driving affordable leads and trying off the volume in those ad groups by increasing bids in those ad groups and stuff like that. So the other side of the coin though, I probably just, I kind of just glossed right over this. If you have a ad group that's sending you leads that are below target, you can always increase your bids too, assuming you have more runway to increase your bids. Now, what do I mean by runway? I mean, your impression share is not maxed out. So if we go into columns here, modify column and competitive metrics, search impression share, and we want to do search impression share absolute top, which is actually search top, just top, because that's the top four spots. All right, so I'll run through what these each mean real quick. So search impression share, this is <clears throat> out of every 100 times this keyword searched, my ads are showing 68% of the time for this individual keyword. In the, just in general, my ads are showing on the first page. Now, this is search top impression. So out of every 100 times junk removal searched, my ad showing 64% of the time in one of the top four spots. All right, so you can see here, I have a lot of runway to move here. I can increase this bit. I, I'm paying twelve seventy four a click. I can increase this and get much more traffic. All right, so this is what you want to do when you're trying to increase your, your bids to get more traffic, more leads. And um, if you have a CPL that's affordable and you, you, you want to spend more money, this is how you do it. You come in here. Go based off of these metrics here. These are all green signs telling me go. All right, I got I got room to run here. I can increase bids on all of these keywords if I wanted to and get more of that good traffic that's converting. All right, so that's it. You're going to decrease bids on keywords that have high, too high CPL for you. You're going to increase keyword bids on keywords that you have some runway, and I just showed you how to find that runway, and they're they're converting well for you. And you're going to pause dead weight keywords that are just dragging your overall campaign CPL high because they're dead weight and they're not converting. And we're just going to cut them loose. All right, so that's really it, guys. I hopefully this video helped and it clears some things up that people don't really understand about bid management. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out the links in the description. I put a link to our new free course, which is three. It's a three-part video series called Google Ads Optimization Combat Tactics where I go into how we optimize all of our clients and our own campaigns and um, kind of give you just a plan on what you should be doing every week to keep your campaigns running smooth and uh, always keep that, that lead flow coming. All right, guys, catch you in the next video.